Come on, Rhea. Hold me close till I get up. Time is what is up? Check out this awesome art by Bob Shea right here. Isn't that awesome? Bob Shea is pretty great. All right, got a lot of new books that are coming out of the classroom library today. I'm very super excited. I ordered a bunch of books, including the entire Jedi Academy series. I had all but the newest one, um, but always good to... Good morning! Always good to get some replacements for that series. Very popular. I got a bunch of horse books. I have a student that's obsessed with horses, and we don't have enough horse books in this classroom. So a bunch of horse books. Books for some of, the, some of the kids that are into this sort of thing. Very excited. I might have to read this one. That one looks really awesome. I love this series. The Brands We Know series. Uh, lots of great books in here. We have the Nintendo one and the Nickelodeon one and the Nerf gun one are really popular. I saw some new ones, so I just decided to order them. Star Wars. Parker Brothers, Netflix, American Girl, ESPN. Not a fan of ESPN yesterday. I'm actually not a fan of ESPN at all, but um, I don't know. They didn't defend one of their people who said something I thought was really smart and really honest and true and, I don't know, boo ESPN. Every year I get a new set of the Amulet books, so always got to replenish this. They wind up missing. They end up being, but they fall apart, so, excited. Good morning, uh, I had a lot of fun uh, with my kids. We, a lot of writing, writing has been really fun this week. Kids did some really good things, we worked really hard on visualizing our stories, like really closing our eyes, and really thinking, and really trying to figure out all of those little details. Um, so we worked on that, and then we, also worked on uh, telling it to a friend. Uh, so really thinking about our stories before we start writing them. And then we talked about some of the details and some of the little nuggets that we found from doing that extra work before we started writing. And the kids wrote, didn't have a time to share today, which uh, really bothers me. I like to make sure that they, we have a little bit of time to share every day after we write. So need to make sure that doesn't happen tomorrow. The classroom book a day, the book that I read them today was Lifetime. Kids loved it. Uh, the kids are just super fascinated by stuff like this. So if you haven't checked this book out, it is basically just um, how many times animals do something in their life. So how many times this caribou sheds its antlers in a year. They loved the, um, the alligator. I think it was alligator. Alligator or crocodile. I don't have to find it. Alligator. Eggs an alligator lays in its life. So love this one. Kids had it, loved it, super fun. Trying to do a better job with Classroom Book a Day of uh, more nonfiction and math. Boom. Uh, the other book that I want to just talk about really quick is this beautiful book that Margie, Love of Xena, let me borrow all the way to Havana. And let me just say, Mike, you're probably not watching, but this case dude is off the hook. And this book tells a Margarita Engel who is just like, Amazing. Um, this book tells a story of a family going to town in Cuba, and it talks a lot about the car situation in Cuba. They're going to, the family is going on a trip to Havana. They live in, in on, you know what I mean. Uh, so, but they talk a lot about the car situation and how there's a lot of really old cars in Cuba. The authors know and the illustrators know, and this are absolutely phenomenal. A, you must read them. Uh, I'm looking forward to I wanted to read this to my kids, but uh, Margie's going to read it to them on Monday. And one of the reasons for me that this book is so special and that I loved it so much is my dad is fascinated with the cars in Cuba. And it's something that anytime Cuba comes up at all in any conversation, that's the first thing he brings up. He's just, just blown away that they have all of these super old cars. So I'm going to make sure that he gets a chance to read this picture book at some point. Um, maybe to my son. My son, Hobbs, who's two, is fascinated with the cars. So... Uh, it would be a good book for them to connect over. Anyways, it is lunch. It is lunch special recess mix. I'm going to go for a run. Tuesdays and Thursdays, probably the, pretty much the only time I can get my workout in is if I do it during lunch. So I'm going to go try to get three miles in. All right. 3.25 mile lunch run. Felt good. Got to go and eat lunch. Got to change. Got to get ready for the afternoon. And I should probably start a time lapse video. Look at these clouds. All right, excited for the afternoon. Here we go. 
just finished up the 15th day of school. It was a good day. Had a lot of fun with my kids. I am so tired. Tomorrow is the fifth day, the first five day week of the year. Things are going good though. Things are going really well. I'm having a great time with these kids. Could not ask for a better group. Thank you for watching. It means the world to me. Slams through the highways and the